All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. This is my K-Swapped 2000 MR2 Spider, And today, we're actually gonna be making some progress on this thing. Now, car is obviously not running. A lot of you guys know that already, but if you guys are new, just filling you guys in. Look how good this thing looks. Looks fire. Um, as you guys know, I'll be selling this kit to one of you guys um, in the future once my new kit arrives. But we're gonna get this thing running. Um, if you guys didn't see the last video, I got some parts I wanna install. These are things that actually need the car to run. So um, I got the new OEM Honda harness as well as the PP headers. We're gonna make some progress on this thing. I'm gonna yank off the old harness. Hopefully I don't have to yank out the motor. Um, that'd be ideal. But obviously to access some of the things I need to reach, I'm gonna have to remove some parts off here, so I'm going to move the headers, I'm going to move the cross bracing, and then we're going to go tackle into the, the engine harness here. So now that I got everything off of on um, off of the car, so I got all the body panels off, I can actually reach stuff on the car, remove the headers. Um, to, for me to remove the headers, I actually need to jack up the car so I can kind of swing it down. Um, but that's later. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the coal pack covers, um, the plastic trims and all. I'm just gonna unplug everything one by one. It's pretty straightforward, I'm just gonna go through. Um, the ones I'm kind of worried about are the ones on the alternator, which are kind of on the far side, on the firewall side. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of feel my way around and unplug those. Probably need to jack up the car and there's a couple clips on the bottom, I believe. Um, but I'm gonna remove everything. I'm gonna be able to yank out the harness and then we can uh, compare the old one versus the new one. Guys, so just a little update. It's been around an hour here. Um, now I got most of the harness out, so I got it from the firewall. Obviously, um, it's all over here now. Um, and then I removed all the coil pack ones, all the ones for the resistor sensors over here, all the ones on the uh, side of the block here, as well as all the injector ones. Um, now the only part of the harness, and I'll show you on the new one here, is um, I got all of this off. The only ones I have is this backside, so it's clipped to the back of the block. Uh, and that's the only one that I haven't got off. So actually what I need to do is I need to jack up the car pretty high, go underneath and then um, take it off to the back of the block. But it is 10, almost 11 p.m. now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get some sleep here. Um, we're gonna resume the next day and we're gonna um, get the rest of this harness out so we can put in the new one and hopefully fire this thing up. But um, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, so far so good and uh, luckily it doesn't look like you need to pull off the engine just yet. I don't want to jinx that but um, it looks looking pretty good. Now this was kind of a boring episode, sorry about that, but I want to show you guys a little update um, in terms of the parts I got. A lot of you guys were asking what big brake kit I was showing. This is the 
not sure if it's pronounced this right, but the Rotora four piston brake kit. It goes into the stock mounting locations. It also comes with 330 millimeter um, brake discs and 330 millimeter rotors. And so you will need, I believe, a 17 inch setup in the front. So for me, it works really well. You might be able to clear possibly with some 16 inch um, pretty aggressive wheels in the front possibly but um, I know that the previous owner was running 17s so um, I'll be obviously I'm running 17s I might even run 18s in the future um, because I'll be getting a different kit that actually uses 18s so I'm not sure guys but um, that is the the kit I know it's pretty rare I haven't seen it many on many other MR2s I know there's the MAP one but um, yeah so I'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching peace out Dream big and execute.